before we get to today's practice and all that, I actually want to go just start very wide with you and the idea that you're even here in the first place. There aren't a lot of NFL football players from Montreal, not a lot from Canada in general. How did you get into football in the first place? Uh, I will have to give credit to my dad. My dad was a tremendous athlete, uh, basketball and football. Um, but his favorite sport was football. So when I asked him, like, you know, what's your favorite sport? Um, said football. I just want to be like my dad, you know. So that's what I put my energy and time into. And it uh, looks like it pay off. Yeah, to say the least, you're in the NFL. Did you get to watch the NFL a ton as a kid? Like, do you guys just sit down and watch on Sundays like we think of most American families doing? Yeah. Uh, honestly, like we, uh, my parents, they really enforced us to like just like sports in general. So like, whatever was on, it could be like NHL, NBA, NFL, whatever. We was always in front of, in front of the TV watching it and all that stuff. Um, and you know, I from a young age, I kind of like grew my love for for the, for the uh, for football. And um, as I got older, I really started you know taking it more seriously and uh, trying to pave my way out of Canada to make it here. Now, you did play other sports. What other sports did you play, and how did that help you, you think, as a, ultimately as a defensive back? Um, I started, my first, first sport ever was hockey. Uh, my dad, I remember, like, you know, shoved all the snow off the backyard and, you know, put some water, ice cold water, and then made a rink, ice, ice rink. Uh, so I laced up in skates at, like, four. I played hockey until I was 14 or you know, every winter because we got long winters in Canada. So you got to. You don't say. Exactly. So you got to have, like, you know, you got to be able to be good at a winter sport. So, and I think. Now that I look back at it, you know, a lot of athletes here, you know, hockey's not a, like a, a, you know, a popular sport here. Most guys play basketball, track, field, all that stuff. But I played hockey, which made me very agile on my feet. You know, I was a really good defender. Uh, just came backward, you know, being able to like, defend players from backward and stop on a dime, skate, you know, spin around, all that stuff, which all translates to the defensive back position, being quick on your feet. And you know, I'm so tall, so people are like, oh, yeah, he can't move, he's stiff and all that stuff. But I think like the fact that I'm really good at hockey as a young age, kind of tra- like those skills translated to football. With Benjamin St. Juice here on the Hoffman Show. So, you know, the hips, obviously, the, the way you turn on, on a nice rink, very similar. And as you said, people don't anticipate you being able to play, for instance, in the slot and, and do the kinds of things you can do. How has it been for you this season bouncing in between? Because they've had you lining up all over the place, a bunch of different guys next to you. How has it been to not have the consistency of playing one spot, but, you know, obviously using that versatility inside, outside? Honestly, it's been great. Like the fact that I can play both position and like I come, I'm kind of like mastering both now in my year two of playing both. Uh, it really helps me like understand what every, what's every, like everything that's going around me. So you know, when I play corner, I know where the nickel is going to be because I play that position. I'm like, okay, he's going to be there. I can play this differently. Knowing your surroundings, knowing like you know what what the position next to you is doing will just help you expand. You know, what I'm saying your 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 game plan, your the concepts of like you know going against the offense and all that stuff and. I mean, and it just helps the defense in general because certain package I might be matched up against a receiver or on the outside and I can go on the inside and all that stuff. So we have more weapons for the defense to keep the offense on their toes. How easy or hard is it to know just based off what sub package is called, what play is called, where you're actually supposed to be play in, play out? Like, do you ever have those moments you're like, wait, I'm supposed to be over here, over there? Or is it at this point it's kind of second nature? It always happens. You know, you, we're not perfect. So there's always going to be like some little like, you know, mental errors in there. But if you're if really good players are able to like correct it mid play so the play might start and you might be like oh i forgot some or i was supposed to motion all that stuff but you're able to like you know correct it we there, there's a saying if we all wrong we're all right so if the players around you know what you're doing they know what they're supposed to do and they see you in the wrong spot then they can maybe make up for what you're doing and you take their job mid play that's what great players that's what great defenses do no doubt about it with benjamin st juice here on the hoffman show on the team 980 so today's first day in pats definitely seem to be a little bit more energy out there as as is the nature what was your experience though being out there with the pads on uh nothing nothing changed for really for us we're trying to come out with the same energy every day pads or not pads really just helped us you know on the defense because we're a little bit more physical and that's what we like we like to tackle to wrap and all that stuff so uh we're trying to work on the small details you know to even though we're not bringing guys to the ground we're trying to be in great position to tackle great you know uh angle the pursuit and all that stuff make sure the running back receivers not cutting back create explosive explosive plays uh which is all things that we're going to need during the season when we actually you know go live People might be able to hear the chance for Terry in the background. One, one thing that I was reminded of today with the pads on with him is how heavy his hands are. What's it like when you're, you know, trying to press him and he whacks you across with one of those big hands trying to get free on the line of scrimmage? And I, I think that's one of the sneaky skills from Terry because, you know, he's not the biggest receiver, so people might underestimate him. But then, like, at the point of attack, he can just literally rip the ball off from any DB. And then he's pretty strong to, like, just, you know, 
just do a flyby or push a defender off or whatever. So I think that's his like silent like killer move, you know. People and he's fast too, so people are like, okay, he's quick, he's fast. He might be not as strong. Boom, hit him with some, and then he you know just rips the ball off of you. So yeah, he's really good at doing that. There was one today. I can't remember if it was on you or another one of your teammates that I just I I wasn't even watching. I just heard it, and you're like, what was that? It was like, oh, it was one of Terry just slapping somebody out the way. So I don't know if that was you or if you remember it, but I don't think so. I would remember. I could I could explain the play right now if it was me, but I don't think so. Yeah. All right. A couple uh, more off the field things real quick before we get out of here with Benjamin St. Juice. I know you got to go lift, so I promise I'll be quick. What did you do this, like, favorite trip you took this offseason? Favorite trip I took, I uh, would be back home. Went back home to Montreal. Uh, was hosting my second uh, camp for my foundation, back to Origin Football Camp. Had 625 kids across Canada come in and, and get some work. It's the biggest camp in, fo- in Canada. So, um, yeah, that was dope. Is that the first time you've done that or second? Uh, second what? edition. Last year we had 500 kids. Uh, this year we had 625. I brought my uh, teammate William Bradley King and uh, Derek Forrest to uh, come coach and help the kids. So it was a great success. That's awesome, man. Um, and last but not least, so it's a running it's it's a running bit on the show, but also like an actual thing. I'm trying to learn French. My wife and I are going to Paris next year for the Olympics, so I'm trying to learn French. It's incredibly difficult. I'm very bad at it tips for someone learning French. You did the, the reverse. For people that don't know, you started as a French speaker, and uh, I was reading on Wikipedia, so I don't know if it's true, but also Haitian Creole, yep. first two languages, and then had to learn English, uh, which I know is very, very difficult to learn when it's not your native language. French, English, they don't seem compatible. What's your, your tip for me as I try to learn French? I would say watch movies in French with English subtitles. That's what I did. Okay. I watched a lot of movies um, in French, but I had the, uh, the English. No, I, I watched a lot of movies in English with the French subtitles. So, like, movies, music, it's kind of something that's, like, easy, like, on the brain. It's not too much information, but you can still enjoy it, and you can see the conversation because that's the hardest part. Learning, like, a little word, like, to say, like, hey, my name is this or whatever, that's right. easy. But holding a conversation, that's the that's the hardest part. Yeah. Right now, I really just try to master, like, I'm American. Do you speak English? Because I think in Paris, I can get away with that. Yeah. So, je suis américain. Yeah. Uh, no. Et je ne parle pas en français. <laughs> See, even the way you said that is not the way Duolingo says to say that. So, I'll just have to come back to my new French tutor, Benjamin St. Uh, BSJ, appreciate it. Thank you, man. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks for watching this clip of our 2023 Washington Commanders training camp coverage. For more, check out the radio show live daily from 4 to 7 p.m. on the Team 980. We also stream live on the free Odyssey app, or you can watch the show here on YouTube at the Team 980. Subscribe right here for all our on-demand content. Click click the button. Go now. Subscribe and come on while you're at it. Let's be honest. If you made it this far, you probably liked what you saw. So go ahead and hit that like button too before another video starts. It's the polite thing to do.